So for inverse trig problems, you just have to memorize these three integrals and try to find something that looks similar to the original function. So all I did here was just pull out the 12 and have 1 over 1 plus 9x squared dx. So which one of these looks like this? Well, we can start by arc sine, right, and look for a square root. Well, are, is there any square roots? No. So actually, these two will get canceled out because, like, uh, this one also has a square root, therefore we can't use it. The only one left is this one, arc tan. So how can we make this look like this? Well, here we have x squared, right? So we can we can do that. We can change this to make it look more like um, this uh, in this format. And then 1 squared, well, we can square 1 because 1 squared is just 1. And then the 12 can just hang out in, um, outside. So moving down, how will I make 9x squared in this form? Well, x is just a variable, so it's just in parentheses, right? We can have anything inside the parentheses. So here, all I'm going to do is just make it 3x, right? Because 3x squared is 9x squared. Because 3 squared is 9, and x squared is x x squared is x squared. And remember to keep the 12. So now, the thing is, um, we need it to be exactly like this, so, uh, so then we can use this formula. So I can say that u is equal to 3x. So if u is equal to 3x, we can have du, which is 3dx. Uh, is there a 3 in this problem? Well, there's a 12, but not a 3. So what we can do is just divide both sides by 3, and we'll have du divided by 3. So dx will be equal to du over 3. So now we can start replacing stuff. So du over 3 is the same as 1 third times du. So that's why I have 1 third right here. I keep the 12 and then the du. Uh, so 1 third du represents the dx. Um, I said that u represents 3x. So it's u squared. 1 squared is just 1 and I kept the 12. So everything's good. Now we can actually um, use the formula because now since we have all, have all of that, uh, we can use the formula. All I did here was just simplify 12 times 1 third is 4. So the formula was, if we go back, um, the formula is 1 over a arctan uh, x over a plus c. So here, all I did was just have 4 in, out front. So 1 over a, a is just the number. So 1 over a will just be 1. That's why it's just 4 times 1, so it'll just be 4. And then arctan of u over 1, right? x over a. And that's why the u has to be changed to the x. That's why we can't leave it in this form. And then plus c. So we have to change this u. So it's 4 arctan 3x, because we said that u is equal to 3x. So it's 4 arctan 3x plus c. And that's the final answer. So... I hope that helped and thanks for watching.